The first thing Alex B. does in the morning is turn to Bert and say the chocolate gentleman word. Come on. All the girls are pissed at this nigga. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. I'm sorry. Wait. Uh, I'm sorry. What are you saying? What are you talking about? <laughs> Bert. No. Bert. Prince Ron confronts him for it. D did you not say it? No. Don't lie, because like five people confirmed that you said it. I didn't say it. What are the five people? And that's the problem that you don't know that you said it. Like, is that in your everyday vocabulary? No. But I do like the most. I'm gonna need you to fix that because I, I would hate to have to fuck you up. That's all I'm saying. My blood relatives and my immediate family, when I said that, that does matter. Uh, everybody, she's not the emperor, or he's not the emperor of black people. You know what I mean? Uh, he didn't get to make. You say the M word again? It's. Alex B brings Prince into a confessional and begs his forgiveness. I even so I don't let me let me tell you let me tell you this it's the ADHD. I, I want to give you a, I want to give you the benefit of the doubt. I don't think you head. are racist at all. So I didn't think <laughs> you were saying you, it. I'm, I, I didn't think you were saying it in a racist way. But it's more so about the education of stuff. And when I came to you, wait, come on, sit down. No, but listen, listen, man. listen, listen. But you were right. And I was like, Alex, I'm full on your room. Yes. And it's my job to educate my brothers so you can go into the real world and be okay. Thank you can't you. say it anywhere. Yeah. Yeah, but we could, man. Let's get up out of here. Give me a hug. I love you, bro. Love you too, man. No, I'm serious. Ron, again, this is a symbol of my humility before we leave. No, don't do that. Don't Stop. Do that. No, it's not going to happen. It's not. But in the light of things, still, it's not. But he full on blast, and I have no right, no right to retaliate, or I'm booted. This is why you are the model gay citizen. This is why you were the. No, I'm about to get to that too. And the model of the black citizen. This is one of the people that does that wants equal rights, not Absolutely. extra rights. Do you know what I mean by those people? Was, equal, not that extra. That was the word. Okay. And I, honest to God, thank you for teaching me. My, I never thought that. My lead. Get up. My lead. What you mean? Outside the house, Alex's BBW Latina wife is shocked to find her husband calling people the N-word on the internet and tries to reach him. Because she can't reach production on the phone, she uses his phone's GPS to call the police to the house. The cops knock on the front door, and Bert reacts by rushing deep into the back of the house and hiding. Production tells the contestants the cops regularly check on the property and were merely visiting because they didn't answer the phone as normal. Like a normal person, Bert announces to the girls that his life goal is to portray a murdering rapist. That was, uh, that was one of the people get like movie roles where I can play the nice, sweet guy with a plot twist. He's the asshole, murderer, rapist, like shit. Alex B comes by to apologize to him for his language. So uh, please okay. stop bringing it up again. I'm it's sorry. getting kind of irritating. I'm sorry, bro. Okay, please, Alex, stop apologizing over, over and over again. It I'm loses its effect this time. Okay, I'm thinking. Thank you. Okay. I know. Please. You can, I know, bro, yeah. but I'm sorry. I do have a heart. You're doing it again, Alex. No, when I'm you apologize, hard. just say, I'm sorry, I didn't leave it at that. Door. And Bert tells him he will accept the apology if. When he gets mad again, he agrees to take calming supplements. I just want to make sure you're in before the meds start kicking in. We'll experiment with this until you're done and you decide what my what I take. Okay. From oh. from, you're the doctor for me. Oh. Okay. No. You can true. call me Dr. Burt. <laughs> All right, Dr. Burt. I have an IQ of 142. I've never met someone with a higher IQ, and I think it's interesting. Oh, thank you. You're a very smart person. 15 minutes have passed, 30 minutes, 45, and when 15 minutes are remaining, when one minute is remaining, and I'll allow you to like get up and move around and I'm gonna ask you questions on how you feel. Okay, I'll do it with you so that you won't feel alone. The OGs plus Peyton decide they will pool their candy in an attempt to force immunity in the direction of their choosing. Alexis has been barfing all day. Laren says she is ovulating but jokes that she is pregnant. Luke discovers an unused pregnancy test among the groceries. He finds Symbol in the yard and yawns him in the dick. Binks and Mizzy discuss eliminating Symbol. Luke arrives and they welcome him into the discussion, listing off how Symbol was sucking up to independent players and call him slimy. There are technical considerations at play now. In order to remove the correct target, the contestants must consider who should have immunity so that if Symbol gets immunity, they don't lose the wrong person. Luke calls Smack Slap and dismisses the idea of helping her because she is too close to Symbol. Luke says he is as tight as he can be with Alex B, but that he's too erratic to predict what will happen to their relationship. Luke considers stealing from him just to launch him at Symbol again.
Bert circles around to Luke, who advises him that everything he has heard about other players targeting Symbol is also the right move for him. Come back, Jim. Oh, shit. You look too happy for that to have been back. Oh, I'm terrible. Are you talking to you? Alex B. returns from a visit to the basement saying that he had to take care of a pharmacy situation where his Adderall was going to expire. Binks tells Alex B. and Prince that Symbol is targeting her. She says she will target him back, but otherwise would have voted to eliminate Ian because he's being a lazy housemate who eats all their food. Alex B. mimes I am okay to his Adderall through the camera. and in Kentucky proud. My wife, Jacqueline, my kids, Kyle, Kitty, Buddy, Josh, Lauren, Ebony, that's the real names. That was their nickname first, but I'm doing this to y'all. I told y'all I was coming to get this money, and we're coming from the number one spot. I get kind of wild and nuts, and that I, do. I got a few nuts and bolts loose, I do. But I got a, but you know what? My nuts and bolts are loose in the coolest way that it like works. It's kind of like, you know how people like intentionally poke holes in their, uh, their muffler to make it sound? <laughs> oh, what a powerful engine you have. Have you ever been to something shore? Some clown show, there's a bunch of clowns in it. Or stupid clothes, the same crap all the time. Strike. Binks learns that Symbol is targeting her and takes Alex to cut a promo with her. Fuck that bitch. You know, I'm so nice. I've literally been nice to everyone. These walls got ears. Oh, look. This one has hair, too. <laughs> Welcome to the Velvet Room. Yeah, this is day three. Nobody's gotten that reference to like in this house, by the way. Okay. You don't even know that reference. Okay, right now. We're together, me and Binksy over here because. Tightest thieves, thickest thieves. That's right. Literally, because we're gonna fucking steal his kid. Yeah, we're gonna fucking. Because he's an asshole. Just say he wants to vote me out. And me? And yeah, like, dude. The look, fuck out of here. Dude, on the real, look at him. And look at me. Look at me. <laughs> Hello. No, look at me. No, look at me. <laughs> <laughs> no. If they took a national poll on us three. National. Global. I think we global, yeah. Global poll. I think we know Planetary. it would be like there you go. Universal. Yeah, galactical. Oh my gosh, infinity? Ah, uh, yes. Okay, well the thing is, that literally is the measurement. They're gonna blur this out, but when you get home and you're watching us get famous, for you buddy, right here. Yeah. <laughs> right here. Get on these, get on these, these yeah. are for you. I was sitting and then like I was doing my W sit thing and then he, Sidhu, leans over and he goes, oh, that's hot. And I was like, what? He's a loser and we're going to beat him. And we're, and we're fucking winners. We're winners and he's a loser. He is a fucking Wiener. loser. More attractive. 100. Who's a sexy little slang slinger? Alex the G. Or Sigil. Ew. <laughs> Ew. It's all about the crib. Yeah. It's all about the crib. Yeah, like oh, this, like, like in the cartoons, like... <laughs> <laughs> All this stuff. No, and then three seconds later, it's bags. <laughs> Outside confessional, Symbol tells Alexis and Peyton that Binks is brainwashed because she keeps doing confessionals together with Alex B. He can go burn in hell. <laughs> it's all that I care. <laughs> Mentally ill and sick. Damn. Yeah, I think he is mentally ill. It is. I mean, good. I mean, not good for him, but it's sad for him. But I think he's mentally disturbed. In confessional, Alexis and Peyton say that they would also eliminate Symbol first, though. Then would eliminate Smack. 
Alex B, Ian, then Luke. Luke and Alex B speak to Peyton with the goal of figuring out who to give immunity to. Alex B keeps interrupting Luke, and he begs Alex B to leave because he's scattering the conversation. Well, where's Ian? Who's Ian again? I, I don't know. For a second, just let me That's fucking right. get the story straight, because I can't fucking focus, okay? Alex, I think we need to talk so we can get this situated, mm -hmm. and then we need to talk. Because can you guard the door? You guard the door for the next, like, three fucking minutes so okay. I can get the story, and then I'll guard the door okay. for you guys. It's impossible. Okay, okay. show me something. Go okay. Why are you talking? Look, I'm done. I'm guard. I'm guard. Okay. You're not, though. No, I am. I'm guard right now. <laughs> hey, is this anything? I'm going to pop and smack for choice. Dude, hold on. I got to solidify what she's saying. No, no, here. I just, just know. I'm just on that back of the door. Okay. Keep, just guard it from the outside, please. I'm begging you. Hold on. My vote is for you to be the third person. First. Okay. I'm alive again. Yeah. Fine. We're almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. Do you, there and you want me to guard the door first? They decide Luke and Alexis are good choices, but the last one is up in the air. Peyton rejects Binks because she calls her reserved. Luke rejects Bert and Ted because both of them have been too friendly to Symbol. Alex B is anxious that they are trapping him and they tell him, the plan hinges on you, fooling Symbol into thinking he has a chance to vote Alex B out. If I have immunity, their plan is gone. Their plan is fucking gone. They don't have a plan to get you out except for fucking Symbol. Yeah. What do you think he's trying to do to blow everybody against They don't have this. It's not going to work. We all see there is but shit. But there's other people, too. You no, know? they're not. We not have, have more. We have majority. We have more people. We have you need majority. to chill. You're missing the forest. Exactly. Oh, we you, don't you, need the whole house. You're missing the forest with the people. People. trees is what I'm saying. The, the plan here, it literally hinges on you. And you have to accept that. Alex B is anxious because he feels he needs immunity and doesn't trust them when they say he is not a target this week. They try to help him understand, but aren't willing to lay it out clearly. They are keeping him in the house because they think he is easy to eliminate later. Since he doesn't understand the subtext, he bugs out. We're all still here having fun. Anyways, we're going home. Oh, no. Just, no, 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 no. My heart dropped just, my feet. Just, we're oh, acting, my. we're acting, right? We have to practice. Like, really. You're just ruined everything. We're just messing. That's not happening. I'm joking. Just fucking with you. Joking. You have to get to know my. I'm, I'm sassy. When, you, when no. you get you get to know me, I, I'm a little firecracker. Okay. No, you can't do that to him. <laughs> I thought I was. Everything. Like, I'm You're fucking lying. killing me. Man. I'm telling you. I'm gonna show this to the camera. Power Ooh, Rangers. The pack. Okay. Breaking. That's why you're a piece of shit. I don't know. Just be a better person, you know. Yeah. No. I know. I know. Are you doing this now? She's doing the bit. Yes. Huh? Yeah. He's this bit. He's got one for you too. I can. Is that love? Alex B. and Binks convene Team Primal again, where he airs out the entire plan, revealing to Binks that Smack is an elimination target she wasn't aware of. Binks is worried that he was the one to tell her this when nobody else did. Alex B. advises her that the other girls don't trust her. Binks says she doesn't understand the point of gambling giving candy to other players to take away her own shot at immunity. You got a common enemy, right? Yeah. Enemy of my enemy? He smells. I like him. <laughs> right, he smells I like him. I think the goal for this is to get him out. Did we actually like, have each other's backs? Yeah, I'm not going to pull you out, I promise. Never, I swear. Never. I was literally saying for so many reasons, like, A, you're entertaining. B, like, you get me. You get Thank me. you. See, That's what you know, I, I don't you're think you're a bad guy. A kindred so spirit. Good. Yeah, like, yeah. straight up. So I'm not, I'm not going like to pull you out. Not this week. Maybe yeah. later, down the line, when we're like straight head up, to head. Like like, yeah, yeah. You know, right now. Let's knock out a bunch of people and then talk about how about that? Let's, let's have this conversation. Yeah, um, exactly. yeah, man. Yeah, I got Alex B. negotiates for Binks to speak to Peyton directly in the hopes of bolstering her alliance with her and diffusing the target on her back. I was like, I can see feet. Binks inadvertently exposes that Alex B. told her that they were targeting Smack and he lies and says it had to be someone else. She and Mizzy scheme to search the attic for Symbol's candy. Prince and Alexis plan to betray Mizzy out of the OGs because she has been wishy-washy. Like, damn, I feel bad because when it was me, her, and Mizzy, I was like, this is top three. And then I told her earlier, I said, it's crazy now because Peyton is my number second girl. Like, it's just like... They plan to give their candy to Symbol, anticipating that this will lead to Mizzy being eliminated. They wave Peyton into the confessional after she leaves her meeting with Team Primal where she admits to them she is conspiring against Luke and Alex B. Meanwhile, 
Bert gives Ted one of his spare rape whistles, in case something happens. I guess they're married now. When the OGs speak to Luke, he learns that they are willing to eliminate Mizzy, and he finds this to be an acceptable trade. Production sets up a conversation between Mizzy and the girl who's replacing her in the OGs. Are there chopsticks in the kitchen? So. Just one of your toothbrushes. No. Can you, you got strong volleyball hands. Can you thread this, the end of that toothbrush through that tag and pry that thing out? It's driving me nuts. And if I cough, just keep talking for a little bit and it out. All the OGs are called in the room to discuss symbol. Yo, Vance, we can go ahead and set up Mark 2. Over. <laughs> Alex B's mood plummets from being sidelined from the scheming and says he feels like the house is alive because his housemates keep vanishing out of sight. Ian talks to Symbol and asks, is someone leaving tomorrow? And doesn't know that anyone is talking shit about Symbol. Ben announces that the fish need to make popcorn and assemble for a special presentation. The fish guess at what will be shown on the TV. Smack says she thinks they will reveal that production has messed with them in their sleep, and Ted thinks it's a compilation of them farting. I, I've been holding my tongue for the past 24 hours. Um, oh, I think I think some of them have already figured it out. Yeah. Now. <laughs> Marissa, looking at you. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, I'm just gonna come right out and say it. Sponge. Episode one is officially live on Hulu. <gasps> <laughs>
like literally profusely sweat. Like, oh. how long have you been in Houston? <laughs> Almost three years. Almost okay. three years, man. It's amazing. I got monkeys. You know what I mean? They see this. I got monkeys. I got monkeys. I got monkeys. I got Chase me, climb on my leg, get on my shoulder. 7:30 in the morning, I get up for coffee, <laughs> get my grab my head, ride on my head all day. You got two? Oh. <laughs> 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 I'm trying to make a contestant for you to play with. This is Bianca. Chase it! Sorry. Introducing Smack. I'm really excited. Uh, thank you, Simmons. Yeah, y'all are killing it. Thanks. done in 24 hours? Oh, That's wow. never been done that I know of. Guys, this is history. Come on. Oh, oh, my yeah! God. The contestants observed that Symbol wasn't in the edit. Symbol says he believes the editor has a plan for his character. Ian says, now that he knows it's on TV, he wants to win. What was that saying? The joy and festive mood brings Ted and Bert uh, closer together. During confessionals, Sam and Ben fuck around in a confessional for Jeremy Gold. This week on Famous House. You're not gonna believe what just happened. I'll, to, I'll go from the left like I'm talking to somebody on the left. Sure. Huh? I made it. Nah, we made it. Mama, I made it. No, we made it. We should have a piece of shit on the floor in the corner. Maybe we, maybe we three? Yeah. Yo, did you take a shit? In this <laughs> Yo. Yo. Who shit in the corner? Professional. Professional. We'll be um. There's a cool million street guy, Sybil, and um, from the top, from the top. Okay. And don't let's not say his name. I think people get confused when they hear oh, Sybil. No name talking. Okay. Yeah, just say the Middle Eastern man. All right. Let's get one generic insert. Let's go. Um, Mama, I made it. Nah. We made it. Instead of no, can we get a no? Nah. No. Nah. Peyton is ordered to hand over her secret vape. Bink says she is surprised that Smack was planning on eliminating her because they were getting along. I want to know if it comes down to it for for your the alliance that you're in, and you have to vote against Smack, are you going to do it? Yeah. Yeah. I would vote against Smack if I, if everyone else was doing it. If everyone else is doing it, what good is it voting for the Green Party? Let's get a generic insert line here, look right at the camera, and go, Mama, I made it. Nah, scratch that. We made it. 
Damn, that sucks. You don't like that? What would you, I mean, how would you express in your own words that, you know, you've really... I'm sorry. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> no, for real, like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> sit next to her in the couch. <laughs> you know, you're doing so great. Thanks. You should be so <laughs> proud of yourself. I am. It's okay. It's okay. You are so strong. Seriously, you are incredible. She died. She's American, but she died in Italy. And I'm her only daughter. Hearing you say like, "Oh, mama, I mean it," it's like because I, we weren't close. Like my mom and mom were not close. I didn't like her. I wish I liked her though. So I'm doing all these things with like my streaming, trying to like follow my dream. But like she'll never even get to see it from afar, you know. And like my dad, I don't have a dad either. He died too. So it was just me being proud of myself. It was literally a month ago, like right before I went to TwitchCon, like on the plane. I went, you know, because it's my first year on there. So I went there. But as I'm getting on the plane, taking off into the air, I got the call that I knew was going to come. She wasn't sick or, sick or anything, but I just, you know, when you just know things, I just know things. And on my way to TwitchCon where I'm going to stream the whole thing. And I like, there's videos of me like on YouTube where I'm keeping it together, but then I just like this, like it just comes like at a snap. And it's always that thought like, that I'm like, I could have been making someone proud, but I just have to settle for making myself proud. You're not just making yourself proud though. You're making us Thanks. making me proud and you're making G proud. And the folks watching at home on Hulu are proud too. Perfect. That was awesome. Perfect. Kick ass. Thanks. Thank the you so really much. Sold it. Yeah, right? Thank I'm you scared. so much. Good job. Yeah. Well done, Binks. Really well done. <laughs> She might win this. She might win. Well, like, you know, we were talking the other day about your, like, dad and stuff. You know, I was in there doing regular confessional. It's just, like, my day three, like, recap thing or whatever. Mm -hmm. And, like, then Ben, like, kneeled down and he's like, okay, and one of the last things I want to say is, like, I want you to look through the camera and be like, Mama, I'm going to make you proud. Or, no, scratch that. I'm going to make us proud. And that's just really hard because, like, a month ago my mom died. Oh, I'm sorry. And like, I lost my mom too. It's not the same. Keep talking. I know. Losing a parent and then that is just so fucking fresh. A month? How are you here? Ian has a confessional where he says if he is the first fish to be eliminated, it would be crazy because Alex B has done worse things than him. In Prince's confessional, he says he cried when he found out the show was on Hulu. So with the show being picked up by Hulu, it's like a dream come true. I watch Hulu every single day. When we were told that the show was picked up by Hulu, like my heart dropped. But I think I need a minute to kind of process it because it's kind of like a big deal. And I thought it was going to be a year or two before this came out. I, I do like Luke. I, I, I He's the one I'm actually tempted to give my candy to because I think he might be one of the lower people at the moment. He noticed Bert has been sitting close to him ever since Pillow Talk yesterday and feels he has muscle on his side. Alex B. talks for ages without anyone asking him any questions. Okay, I came here with a, I know this sounds stupid, okay, with a hope and a dream. I just dropped my Pradas on the floor. Shot, 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 shot. In the words of my boy Marshall Mathers, no matter how many fish in the sea, It'll be so empty without me. Our boy editing downstairs, big ass, you were the man. Thank you for making this. Uh, seriously, if, I, if I'm allowed, allowed to think Ben or Boss Luke, Boss Luke, because I'm telling you, when you see these guys, you know that song, the Dropkick Murphys? They make it feel real. Like, na 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 Like, na 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 And then there's all these people pulling each other in and out of room. 
Thrones, man. We are in the Game of Thrones. This is big. Dude, I don't know if the Targaryens can hang with this. So, I mean, you know, I know you. And then, you know, another, this is the worst thing. And I don't know if I should say this. Something just happened back in our room. I mentioned this since day one. My father, I, I idolize him. My mother, I want to make her proud. So just a second ago, they've never, I'm sorry, me and Binks have been pretty cool. Me and Binks, I, you know, me and Binks and uh, Luke, but separately, I've been kind of middle doom right there. Binks is kind of, me and Binks pretty tight. She's cool, we'll get in line, let's go. I shouldn't even say that. I'm, um, You're magnetic on that camera, brother. Yeah. Dude, I'm gonna deliver him a promise. Y'all ain't seen shit. You're electric. I love it. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, electric, that's not enough. Nuclear. Um, <laughs> ah, yeah. Bestowed me. You just, you did it. Sorry. If I had a sword, I'd knight you right now. You, you already did. You bestowed me. <laughs> no. Okay. Zeus, Poseidon. You know Talos is? The automaton. <sighs> Greek mythology. The creators of fame in house. Those are my Zeus. My, Pose my Poseidon. Ben, Boss Luca, all of them. I am Talos, the automatron. That's good. That's you, good. I think we got it, Alex. Awesome. awesome. One more line? Okay. Yep. Guys, awesome. I'm into it. Kick ass. It's so incredible. Kick ass, bro. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, don't be sorry. No. After talking nonstop, he speaks to Binks and is confused why production didn't ask him any questions. Um, on a personal level, learning that, like, learning that the show has been put on Hulu um, has, I don't know, just, I'm in shock. I, I grew up in foster care and like my family, I don't know, we were generations of like foster kids and stuff and I just never really saw this as like a possibility for my future. Over wine, Bert comments that he thinks production might have a mole in the cast to move people towards a script. That's crazy. Oh, Bert. Oh. You gotta be real with me, Bert. I know. I know you know. Why'd you all go silent? I'm trying to have a nice. If you don't get your ass up out of here. I was here first. He needs to go in the sound. You, be, you so tweak it too much. And I need like. Oh my god. I'm sorry, handsome. Mean girl teacher. So, like, that's like eight girl. That's just, <laughs> 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 no, I mean, stereotypical. stereotypical. I mean, market Alex B is assigned to talk to Ian about coming out of his shell. Bruh. Hey, Alex. Thanks for the talk, man. Great job. Is that one good? That was great. After a serious intervention, Ian returns to being quiet on the couch, and Alex B presses him for not putting in the effort again. I mean, dude, think of what they created. It's 2024. What ideas are left? Look what they just did. Look what they just did. They're giving you a real time 24 7 reality show on a huge streaming network, to my knowledge. I don't know any show that's ever done that to take eight, nine, ten months to produce years, sometimes year and a half. I don't know. Do 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 And then Brady's right there. It should say my uh, TikTok, the Bernards, 7, 25, 22 at TikTok. The contestants compete in a murder sketch competition for a big bag of candy. Smack's team, the Ghouls, competes against Alex's team, which he titles The Winners. Alex B's team struggles to work with Symbol, who worsens his team's communication problems because Alex B, Mizzy, and Symbol's personalities clash until everyone concedes and lets Symbol direct. Smack's team decides on something short and simple, to stage a scene where Bert, gleefully, gets to murder Alexis and rip a baby out of her. Yes, it's on. How much do you think this bathroom costs a tile? Happy Halloween! I know what you're wearing tonight! Wait, I need what? Wait a minute. Oh, 
Bob Webb. Ha ha ha! You better run! What? The, what? Hey! What the? What the fuck? Dude! What the fuck? What the fuck? Once you die in the famous house, you're famous forever. Blow the whistle! Blow the whistle! Blow the whistle! Is that the scene? Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yeah. Alright, let's get yeah. you guys down to the den. Because the winner's sketch was longer than five seconds, they win, just as the name implied. While splitting the candy, Mizzy longhouses Alex that this is the reward that comes from communicating and listening to other people. Symbol redistributes his take throughout the house, then addresses the camera before bed and calls Alex a two-faced bitch. No way, did you mm -hmm. see that was set up? Everybody mm -hmm. was split apart. But we came together to win real yeah. quick and we fucking did it. Good right. job. Good job. Mm. Yes. M. Night. Hey. M. Night. Good job. M. Night. That's what we're going to call it. That, that was your M. Night that's, short film. That's the title. M. Night short film right there. Bert is extremely frustrated at losing after playing his dream role. Around the dining room table, Mizzy complains that the app they watched the social cut of the show on didn't look like the Hulu app. Ron says the layout of the page was the same. They all applaud the editor, Simmons, for getting it out so fast. Binks and Mizzy say it's weird that production accepted a sponsorship from Mr. Beast because he is very canceled and sick in the head right now. But Mizzy worries that talking about it will taint the conversation with shit the editors can't use. Mizzy tells Binks she is suspicious of Alex because his stories are implausible and he went into the basement today. Binks says she isn't suspicious of him and just finds Alex funny. They agree they would have trouble voting out Ted because he is cute. Bert apologizes for being overly sexual when talking to Ted. So, and in general, me, um, married people, white people, because like it's the most taboo for someone like me. Mm -hmm. And um, people are extremely old. Oh, he was than white, me. was he? Yeah. Okay. In fact, like pretty much 90% of the guys who hook, up, who hook up with me are white. Huh. Yeah. Do you think it's a race thing? Yeah, most of the time it is. Have, have they said the N word ever? Uh, yes. Jeez. It, yeah. But I just think it's like while the it's, while the, while the act is happening and they're just like, go we, for it. They partner. ask my consent first, and it's like it's like it's role play. You know, it's not yeah. like actual. And it's soft A. Yeah. It's soft A. Ro it's role play. Yes, but it's soft A or hard R. Oh, okay. Um. Usually hard R. <laughs> Jesus, fuck! <laughs> That's crazy. I guess like the more taboo it is, the hotter it is because the best sex is the one you're not supposed to be having. In the house and that nobody would vote me off even if I was yeah, in the I, really, I think you're like, to me, you're like the nicest, sweetest guy yes, here. Do you think that's like, stupid of me to be that cocky and to be able to give away my candy before this thing happens? If or do you think money, that's stupid of me and I shouldn't do that? If I have to put money on like who's the least person to be kicked out, it's probably you. After seemingly making up earlier in the day, the OGs take Mizzy's candy stash. Mizzy discovers the candy is missing at 1 a.m. My candy got stolen. Oh my god. What was it? My candy got stolen. You can have mine. <laughs> no, I don't. You can pick that up. That's yours if you want it. I was just letting you know. Dude, Take you that. I mean, that's not. All right, you have it. <laughs> oh, here. Take your candy. I'm telling you to take it. Why? I don't have anyone else's candy. Just take that. Mizzy stirs up all the housemates to figure out who took it. I don't feel like if he's here to hear people open all his shit up. I don't know. Prince. I don't even know what you're doing. Yeah, to be honest, I did it. Luke, who has been complaining of exhaustion all day, gets fed the fuck up. Oh my god. Say, this pumpkin is me. This pumpkin is me. This is me. Oh, is that climactic?
already in our or out of our bags, bags, out of our rooms on. What the fuck is that? All right, guys, sorry. It's time. A big don't bag touch in. that nurse ratchet. I swear to God, don't you touch my fucking sweat <laughs> bag. What did you just call nurse ratchet? Nurse ratchet. Oh, boy. Oh um, here's what we did I in... I don't think this time we need to be doing insults, okay? I just want to find my candy. You just had your candy stolen. How'd you feel? Yeah, Clark Kent. He just gave me... I didn't even call Nurse Ratchet at this time of hour. I wanted to go to fucking bed. Go to bed. What she looking for her here? shit. Oh, no. Your you shit ain't in here. How do we know? Because I just fucking told you. Who the fuck is you to believe? Get the fuck out of here, sweetie. No, we in lost. here. We in here. Okay. If you find candy in here, take it. It's yours. Bert, did you just see or hear any, anyone like taking candy or like? I wasn't gonna touch Did you shit. like see production going on? Okay, Alex. Don't 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 be touching Luke shit. Okay, because about the fucking all the hands on that. Hand on that. Hey, this is the first I'm night scared. Alex been fucking quiet and you're ruining it. I mean, it's not my fault. He's been out of the fucking void. He's been an angel the last three fucking hours. I don't think he's gonna get me a concoction. Wi-Fi signal. Get the fuck out of here. Who the Wi-Fi signal? Who's Wi-Fi signal? What are these nicknames? You don't even have glasses on. You don't even know who you're talking to. What does that mean? I want to get out of here before I get a nickname. Whoa, 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 whoa. Are you allowed to touch? Yes. Wait, Jean. Are they allowed to touch? Yes. I don't want to. Oh, God. Wi-Fi signal. What did I say? No, that's not funny. It's all right. It's not going to hurt you. Hey, that's really aggressive, Luke. Interesting. So, how do we work this out, team? Because there are two ways to work this out. One, you kick him out. Two, I do it my style, and then I walk out. The normies mill around afterwards, wondering if Luke has PTSD or anger issues, or if he's a sociopath, and assume he is going to be removed for smashing up pumpkins. My actions are like, no, 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 I cried. That wasn't cool. That was gay. That was very gay of you. Jet has advice for Luke. The audience knows you're the plant. Obviously. So, one thing you can do to regain the trust of the girls. When you were cleaning the pumpkin, you noticed a hatch on the fireplace. Oh, yeah. That's where Mizzy's candy is. Really? Return it to her. Okay. I think I should do it tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Hatch up the fireplace. Down where the pumpkin was, you'll see. Okay, okay. Sleep, have a good, have sleep, bird sleeping.